Hey guys, it's Jamie and today I'm going to show you guys how to do a summer sleepover. I was kind of inspired by uh, Chloe Couture, I don't really know how to pronounce it, but I really like her videos and she used to do summer uh, video, like summer uh, sleepover videos um, and I was inspired by that so I decided to kind of make my own of that but with my own twist on it. So I'm doing, I'm going to show you guys a decoration for your sleepover, um, a DIY some sort of DIY like a uh, spa related thing which is that and then um, a snack and then also um, what else is there I think that's all I don't know I kind of forget anyways so there's quite a few different things that oh yeah an activity that's what it was <laughs> um, to do so there's quite a few different things that I'm showing you guys how to do so I hope you guys enjoy so for the DIY, I'm going to be doing tie-dye. Me and my friends did this uh, last summer and we had so much fun doing it. And I know it's really simple, but I just love tie-dyeing, so yeah. So I just got this shirt at Michael's because I find the ones at Walmart aren't as great. And then I have my dyes from Walmart as well. And then I tied it up um, just into a swirl one and I put on my gloves. And then I got um, the dyes and stuff full of water already and stuff. And so now I'm just going to dye them. And this is how it turned out like when I was all finished. I really like how it turned out. I wish there was a little bit more yellow in like right there, but that's okay. I really like it. And it is kind of wrinkly, I know, but um, that's okay. To make the snow cone, all you need is some ice that is crushed. I just uh, did it in the blender and I froze all the ice because <laughs> um, we didn't have any from before. Anyways, and then you'll also need some juice and this little cup. So let's get started. So your first step is you're going to take your ice which is now snow and you're going to just take a bunch of it All right, it's going to be kind of difficult to do oh fail okay so I just spilt it everywhere but now I cleaned it up um, and you're going to take your juice and pour it on top you can do kool-aid any kind of juice that you want and just and there you have your very own snow cone. So I would suggest making it like warm juice so that it doesn't like, or I mean, not warm juice, <laughs> really, really cold juice so then it kind of like is almost freezing so it won't melt the snow cone as much because as you can see it's more so of a slushy consistency, but that's okay. So <laughs> that's how you do it. So for the spa part of the video, I'm going to be each time doing a DIY spa item or whatever. So this is going to be inspired by Lush, um, because I love Lush, <laughs> and I mean, who doesn't? Um, so what we're going to do is make the cupcake face mask. So for this, you will need some bentonite clay, which you can order online, which that's what I did. Um, some vanilla, some honey, some cocoa, and also some aloe vera gel, and then a little container to put it in. So let's get started. So for this, we're going to add in your cocoa powder and I'm just going to kind of spoon it in a little bit. Um, so there's no exact measurements for this. You just kind of eyeball it um, just to kind of see exactly. So I'll be putting about that much of cocoa powder in, this much of honey. I'm going to try and <laughs> get as much out as possible. It actually tastes really good. Um, and then some vanilla. There we go. And then some of your bentonite clay. So I'm going to use this big cup. And I'm going to use about... about that much of it and if it's not enough then you can always 
add some more. It really depends on, yeah, how much you need and everything. So we're just going to mix that all up. And then you're going to add in your aloe vera gel to make it more of a creamier texture. And that's how you make it. So it's really simple to do. And so for the activity, my idea is mash um, because me and my friends love playing it at sleepovers. So um, it's kind of a difficult game to try. And like I was trying to like I explain it, but then it wasn't really it took me forever to explain. So um, I'm you guys should just check it out on I'm sure there's a YouTube video or on the Internet showing you how to make or how to do this game. But I would suggest doing this. And sorry that I can't really explain it to you. It just took me like 10 minutes to explain. I didn't want to put that in this video. So sorry about that. But it's a really fun game to play. And I really so suggest doing it. You'll need some um, like a water bottle or something like that. And then some glow in the dark paint. I'm just using fabric paint because that's what I have. But you can use any kind of glow in the dark paint. So basically I'm just going to dot onto the water bottle all my glow in the dark paint. Um, you can even like splatter it on the inside. Whatever you want to do. And this is what it looks like. It's kind of hard to show you guys, but it is actually glowing. Um, so yeah, you just decorate the entire bottle and do a bunch of these and it'll look really cool. So I hope you guys enjoyed that video. If you did, I'm planning on doing more of these because I think they're a lot of fun to do. So uh, comment down below what kind of like thing you want me to do in the next video type of thing, if that makes any sense. And don't forget to subscribe. Thanks for watching. Bye.